ओम नमो भगवते राम कृष्णाय लेसन्स फॉर लाइफ फ्रॉम स्वामी जगदात्मानंद जी इंस्पायरिंग बुक लर्न टू लिव वॉल्यूम टू चैप्टर वन गिव अप वरीस एंड एंगजाइटीज प्योरली मेटीरियलिस्टिक एटीट्यूड डज हार्म टू द कंट्री Here in this episode Swami Jagadat Mananji quotes extensively the great Kannada writer the late Master Venkatesh Iyengar's objective views about the materialistic attitude of the top leaders of those days who were holding the reins of India Now let us listen to this episode Leaders Attitude Some might ask why such extensive quotations have been given here it is true those who have already developed a strong faith in spiritual ideal do not need them but educated people of the modern times who lack the religious sense on the one hand and attack religion on the other on the ground that this attack represents a scientific attitude should realize a blatant fact the educated class of today has wholly accepted the materialistic interpretation of history the political activities of the nation have been influenced directly and indirectly by a materialistic attitude our leaders patriots pledged their lives during the pre-independence india to liberate the country so that the country's religion and culture could be protected and preserved but what happened after the advent of independence the leaders of the nation who were representatives of the hindu society who took part in the freedom movement had no doubt respect for the indian cultural tradition but they were it should be noted people without any religious or spiritual faith The late Master Venkatesh Iyengar, a veteran Kannada writer, writes most dispassionately about the senior leaders of those days who held the reins of the nation. Master Venkatesh Iyengar writes, "Why did we aspire for freedom? India has had her own individual character, her own spiritual special culture." no country which is dependent can develop its individuality if our country was to develop in all spheres we had to form our national life ourselves our leaders fought for political freedom exactly for this reason a nation which became politically free would have achieved much greater good if it had also become culturally independent but a uh, misfortune prevented this from materializing gandhi ji proposed that the congress party which had brought freedom to the country should not aspire to be a political party and rule the country but our leaders did not listen to this advice congress came to power Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru became the prime minister. Nehru was born in a noble family. He was by nature an idealist. Being educated in England, he was influenced by the liberal political thinkers of the time. Having developed a sense of sympathy with a system which could almost be communist, he returned to the country. He was deeply touched by the drawbacks of the life of the people at large. Though he was a Hindu by birth he did not have faith in Hinduism as the leader of Indian National Congress he worked indeed as the right hand man of Mahatma Gandhi but there was no place in his mind for the feelings and thoughts that inspired the life of Mahatma Gandhi Gandhi ji used to say the world is governed by a divine force that is god Jawaharlal Nehru did not have any use for God Mahatma Gandhi said I am a Hindu I practice the Hindu religion because it does not reject any other religion it contains the essence of all religions Jawaharlal Nehru did not have any close acquaintance with the Hindu religion 
Mahatma Gandhi used to hold every evening a prayer session. It is not known whether Jawaharlal Nehru considered it useful to offer prayers. Mahatma Gandhi called the political system which works for the welfare of the people feeling their pulse Rama Rajya. Once when somebody referred to Rama Rajya, Nehru said, What is Rama Rajya? I do not understand. Western thinkers sometimes applaud Buddhism as the only religion that is intellectually convincing. Jawaharlal Nehru was intelligent. He must have found this quite appropriate. He acted as if the history of India began with the advent of Buddha. Hence the flag post of Saranathi is our national emblem. At the center of the national flag there is the Ashoka wheel. When the Constitution Assembly thought of moving a resolution to thank God for granting independence to the country, Jawaharlal Nehru did not like the idea and the idea was given up. It was Gandhiji who came to be called the father of the nation because he devoted his life to the service of the nation. Gandhiji believed that God existed and Rama was a manifestation of God. But there existed no place for Gandhiji's thought in the constitution of India. To be continued in the next episode. Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Tatsat Sri Ramakrishnar Pranamastu